Hi, this is Ray at Austin Guitar House, and welcome to our living room, where today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the Sur SL67 amplifier. And we have that head plugged into a Sur 2x12 housing warehouse Veteran 30 speakers. This is a 50 watt amplifier powered by two EL34 output tubes. You can run it in full power or you can run it in variac mode. And we'll get into that in a minute. Let's take a look at some of the features we have on here. Starting with the, uh, the input section, we've got four inputs. Uh, two for number one, two for number two, and these are tied to these two volume controls. We have a volume for the number one inputs and a volume for the number two inputs. The inputs on the top are, are higher sensitivity and the, uh, the inputs on the bottom are slightly attenuated and, and have a lower sensitivity. The number one inputs are, are the bright inputs and the number two are uh, bolder and heftier. We'll hear that in a second. Right now, I am plugged into the high sensitivity input on the bright channel. So after uh, our two volumes, we have treble, mid, and bass control, and then a presence control as well. Right now, I have all of those at noon, and it sounds like this. I'm gonna turn down each each of the tones and uh, look at each one individually here. So you can hear what the, uh, the treble is controlling here. Here's the mids. And the bass. Then we have our presence control here. That adds a nice sheen to the top end of your tone there. We have the power light, standby switch, and then we have our power switch. We have a high position, off position, and then a low position. High is full power, and then when you're in the low position, then you're in the variac mode. And what the variac is doing is bringing down the plate voltage, which in turn also brings down the wattage, um, but that also changes the feel of the amplifier. It gets a little, uh, a little saggier, a little spongier. Uh, the attack is a little softer, um, and it's really uh, comfortable to play. Let's check that out right now. Here's, here it is in full power. Now we're in the variac mode. Yeah, the tone is still there, but everything feels, it, it just seems like it's a little bit more relaxed. Um, it's really nice. I almost forgot to talk about one of the most uh, important features of this amp, which is the master volume, which is located in the back, which I kind of like. That kind of keeps the face a little more uh, traditional. Um, and you know, the original Plexis didn't have a master volume, but a lot of people did a mod, and that mod usually appeared on the back, and that's what Sir did here. And right now, yeah, we have the master volume all the way up, and when it is all the way up, it is completely out of the circuit. Let's, see, let's try, check out some of the tones we can get with this S-style guitar. This is made by C.P. Thornton, Chuck Thornton. This is a beautiful guitar we just got in. Uh, he calls this his HTL2, which uh, stands for Homage to Leo. That being Leo Fender, of course. This features a beautiful swamp ash body, torrified rock maple neck, and three Lindy Fraylin pickups that sound fantastic. Gonna go back into the high power mode. We are in the bright channel number one input. Um, and while we're here, let's take a look at the other inputs. There's bright one, here's bright, the, the lower level bright. Now let's go into the number two input, into the high sensitivity. I got the volume at about four. Wow, very different. And here's a low sensitivity. So that's what those inputs sound like. 
And with these four inputs, we can also jump the channels, and that will allow us to use both of these volumes simultaneously. And all you got to do to do that, where did my cable go? Here it is. Is we're going to connect the cable from this input to this input up here. Now we're jumping the channel so we can use both volumes at the same time. So right now, here's volume one. Now I'm going to bring in volume two. So we've got both inputs at about four, and we're still fairly clean, even when I'm uh, digging in hard. I'm going to play with the EQ a little bit here. So pushing the treble up, pulling back the mids a little bit, pulling the bass back, and pushing the presence. Sounds awesome. Let's push those mids up and see what happens. Now I'm in the bridge position here and I got the tone pulled back a little bit. Push that up to five here, the both volumes up to five. <laughs> Wow, that sounds awesome. Uh, it's getting a little bit loud in here, so I'm going to take the master volume and bring that down a little bit. All right. And push up volume one and two. <laughs> That sounds great. A lot of fun. I'm going to put that into uh, same settings. I'm going to put, go into the Variac mode now and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Wow, suddenly the strings feel very slinky, and uh, I like it a lot. Now we're going to try this out with a Sir Classic T Antique maple board, stainless steel frets. So I'm plugged into the bright channel, uh, the number one channel on the top input, master volume is all the way up, so it's out of the circuit. Trouble's at seven, mid is at three, bass is straight up, presence is, is at about seven. And I'm on the, we're gonna start off on the bridge pickup here. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, now I have the master volume pulled back a little bit. It's about 70% the way up. I have, uh, we're just in the bright channel on the top input. I have that volume set at about seven. Troubles at noon, mids are pushed to about eight. Bass is at noon, presence is at noon. Bridge pickup. <laughs> Man, this amp is a lot of fun. Now we're gonna try the Sir SL67 out with some humbuckers. And to do that, I have this beautiful Sir Aura guitar. Just got this in, it has a beautiful, beautiful flame maple top. Got a thornbucker in the neck, thornbucker plus in the bridge position. And uh, the amp I have uh, the master all the way up. We're in the bright, channel, high sensitivity input, the volume is at, a, is at about two. And we'll start with the uh, tone stack all the way at noon. Everything's at noon. Got both pickups on. <laughs> Neck pickup. Bridge pickup. Let's gain this thing up a little bit. Take the gain up to about noon here. Man, this sounds incredible. Feels great, this guitar feels great, feels great in this amp, wow.
All right, let's push that volume a little bit more. Wow, this is an ultimate combination right here. Let's push those mids. Let's jump the channels. Now we're jumping the channels and I have both volumes about three quarters of the way up. Uh, tone stacks all at noon except for the mids are pushed about three quarters of the way up. Here we go. <laughs> This thing sounds monstrous. Um, let's check out that master volume and uh, bring it down and see what that master volume sounds like when it's really low. <laughs> Pretty low, and it still sounds great, it still feels great. Yeah, still sounds fantastic, even at uh, whisper levels here. And it still sounds fantastic. Well, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you hanging out with us as we checked out this Sir SL67 head, what a beast. Do me a favor, hit that like button, leave your comments down below, subscribe and share. For more information about this amp or any of the guitars I was using today, please visit our website at austinguitarhouse.com or you can always give us a call at 512-243-6036. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you next time.